Hey there, we're so glad that you're joining us and that you are taking an interest in our brand new Be Encouraged Moments. So today we're gonna to be talking about what love is. What is love? <laughs> yeah. um, so I don't know, a lot of times when you think about love, you think about marriage, right? Um, marriage is love. Uh, I mean, we marry and we choose to share our lives with someone, with another person because we're in love. However, my experience of marriage was far from the descriptions of love that you'll find in 1 Corinthians. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes and it always perseveres. It comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 through 7. I, I wanted to bring this message to you today because when I was married to the man that I believed I loved and who I thought loved me, I didn't experience that kind of love. In the beginning, he was kind, sure, um, mm -hmm. and he was caring, but that it quickly evaporated into something else entirely. The love I experienced destroyed me. It was the opposite of what the scripture I just read had described love as being. But what I quickly began to realize after I got out of that relationship was is that love was present at all times during that relationship. It just wasn't present with him. Mm. The love that I experienced during that time came from my friends, from my family, and most importantly, from God. Um, I experienced patience and kindness and support and celebration of me. I I. I experience protection and trust. And those are all the definitions of what love is. And those were all things that happened as my family stood beside me and waited for me to come around. They waited and they were there. They were there to pick up the pieces when my world fell apart. They were there to hold my hand, to give me a shoulder to cry on, to help me rebuild my life. I, I want people to understand that that definition of love that we find in 1 Corinthians is absolutely true. That is the love that God has for us. It's a free and unconditional love. I've always been taught that that's the definition of grace, free and unconditional. And it's the unconditional that I want you to hear. Love does not come with conditions. Love does not come with a, if you do this, I'll do that. Right. Love should always be pure and it should be for all the right reasons. I saw these things in the people that stood by me during that time. My friends, my family, as I've already listed, God showed me what love truly is. God stood beside me and showed me unconditional love, not only in that time, but in every time in my life. God is standing with you and he's standing with me. He has not left. He's not left you. He has not left me. He is patient. He is kind. He is celebrating you in all of your victories. And he's there to pick you up in all of your failings. He loves you. And love I, is patient. I think that's an important <laughs> part, not to interrupt Larissa, but that's an important part. I would hope and pray that you have family members or friends that show this kind of love to you and that you could show to them. But if you don't, God is always there. As you've heard me say over and over again, you're never alone. We care, God cares. And that is um, where you can lean um, on when you feel like you're not having the love. God will show you his perfect love. First Corinthians gave us the definition of what love is. So let's find that pure love and the people that surround us as we're walking through life. Um, Jan started to mention it, that we are here, we care, we love. And I want to end this message today with reminding you that we are here. We may not actually know you, but we love you. And we will show you that true and pure and unconditional love. Send us a prayer request. 
Let us pray for you. Let us walk this journey with you. Send us an email, join us on our social media platforms. If it's not you that's missing that piece of love, then share it with the person that you know in your life that needs that little extra support. We wanna walk this journey with you. I'm gonna leave you with the scripture once again, because I think it's so important. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Yeah, that's so wonderful. I am really glad that you're here, like I mentioned up front. And I really hope that you will invite a friend to listen to these videos alongside with you. Thank you, as always, for listening to our Be Encouraged Moments.